to Bluefin Aquatics where we share our knowledge and experience with you. Okay, so what we're actually looking at at the moment, we're looking at some babies that have just hatched, we're regulars. Uh, there's a pigeon there also with a Melbro. Now they're in a uh, big four foot tank and um, there's a double pair in this one. They're at one end of the tank and then at the other end there, you can just barely make them out. Uh, both of those are pigeons. Uh, they've also got um, wrigglers on the post there as well. So what we're hoping is that uh, they'll both look after each other's, uh, I suppose, wrigglers or juveniles when they start free swimming in about five days. Uh, so hopefully they won't eat any between the two, two pairs and uh, this will be a new one for us to look at. So as we've got on this one here with the Melbro there, um, he is basically, all his eggs are basically hatched, which was roughly around about 100. And the pigeon pair at the very back there, uh, they had about 80 to 100 eggs, but not all the eggs um, hatched out or fertilized, purely because the hardness in this tank is quite hard. So uh, to have the eggs actually fertilized, the um, total dissolve uh, in the tank itself uh, should be around about three, but at the moment it's around about 100. So I'm just surprised that they um, actually went through and started breeding on there. All right, that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this small video of our discus pairs there. Uh, if you'd like to leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. And also if you consider subscribing to the channel, that'd also be good for us so that we can share our knowledge and experience with other hobbyists as well. Uh, that's about it for now. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you for joining us.